Our next guest is with the company behind HP Personal Storage, including SSDs, DRAM, portable SSDs, and memory cards. He's a good one to know if you need memory cards, amongst other things, because he's the Marketing and Alliances Director for North America and the EU. Quite a bit of territory there, this guy. For Bywin Storage Technology, Bob Snyder. Welcome back into Tomorrow, Bob. How you doing? I'm doing great, Dave. It's great to be back in Las Vegas. Yes. Oh, and, and good to have you with us on the show. My last interview was about the end of uh, Yottabyte and that whole era we talked about, uh, about Yottabytes, right? How yeah. many bytes was Yottabytes? I don't even remember. Well, uh, 10 to the 24. Oh, you know? yeah, sure. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm great in math, so I mean, that means a lot. Right? <laughs> if, you, if you stacked up CDs to a Yottabyte, you'd reach Mars. Whoa. So, <laughs> well, that gives you a pretty good idea then, yeah, right? It's, it's an that's, awful lot. That's yeah. an awful lot. So yeah. now the data scientists have met, and I'm told there's a solution for Yottabytes. Like, where do we go next? Right. So, again, originally what happened is we, as an industry, ran out of the imagination of the data scientists on what we call these numbers for the amount of storage that we create for content, data, and video. And now... You know, the scientists have finally met, and they've now voted and decided on the next names for what comes after Yodabyte. So we're in the Zettabyte era now. Oh, jeez. We're, we're, by 2030, going into the Yodabyte, but we're accelerating, so we're going to pass through the Yodabyte in, in 10 years or less, and then now finally we have a name for what we're going to be in after that. You know? so, and that's Zettabyte. No. No. Zettabyte was before. Now oh, before. And then they voted, and it, it took a lot of time and effort of all these data scientists across the world, different cultures, great PhDs, intelligence, and we've decided we're going to call it Ronabyte. Ronabyte? Ronabyte. Like Corona? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I mean, come you on. What it, brilliant David. scientists I came up with you that? Said, you said well, it. we've all been dealing with Corona. Uh, let's, let's call let's it Rona. Rona bite. <laughs> maybe, maybe they pronounce it Rana. Maybe they're French. Oh, yeah. Maybe that so, could be. Ooh, but my. the point is, is that the group came together and they've recognized the problem. So they made another one past it. So in case we shoot through that very quickly, we get to face the Quetabyte. Oh, jeez. Now, and of course, we're <laughs> going to go surpassing all of these yes, various ones because yeah. that's what keeps doing more than exponentially. Well, yeah. well with, with you know, the 200 million content creators across the world, you yeah. know, I mean, we're all generating massive need for storage and massive need for you know, higher quality storage. Right? So HP is here at the Showstoppers press yes. event, and, and of course you're representing them and, and yes. working with them. Uh, so you guys make these HP branded products for license, I guess, to other companies, yes. and you brought, brought a couple of things to I show, did. so let's, let's do just that. Sure. What have we got here? Well, I, I just brought, because we make under license for, for HP, that mm -hmm. is, it's, we're not OEMs, we make it under license. So we get to design, build, market, and sell these products to the market. But HP, you know, it, the brand is their most important asset, so they, obviously they have a lot of trust levels and you have to be, you can't let HP down, let me put it that way. Yeah. I brought you two HP's SSD drives. One is the Pro, and that is you know, ranked by a lot of the media as one of the top drives in the market today and you can read a lot of great reviews about it. The other one is actually very interesting because it's, it's cashless DRAM. So what happens is that it's typically considered to be a, a, um, a slightly inferior product because it's doing with software what it normally did with hardware. Oh, okay. But that software is so good now that this product's killing it, and the price point you know, makes it undercutting the hardware products out in the market. So nice. the FX900 and the FX900 Pro are two of the exciting products that you can put in your computer today to go faster and speed up. And, and what are the price points? So folks get an idea that now that we're teasing them and showing them. Uh, well, again, it's a little complicated in our business because you know, this, what I'm showing you here is, is one terabyte and there is a, a one terabyte of the other one too. So the one terabytes you know, these days are, are still up in the hundreds of dollars. You know, but again, you can get lower or higher. We sure. go up to four terabytes today. Nice. And uh, again, I, I think now 
probably you're, you're not going to buy anything less than 256, but generally the manufacturers of, of the equipment, they make 256, they put it in the laptop so they can hit a cheaper price. Sure, And sure. the first thing that happens is you should be upgrading that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And well, and we've been saying ever since uh, SSDs came out that yeah. once you go SSD, you never go back. You never go back. And especially if yeah. folks are looking to upgrade their laptops as sure. a great example, you know, if yeah. you just do that, yeah. you're going to have a whole new machine. Yeah. And, and this is the one point I wanted to make today, you know. You know, you and I have been in the industry a long time, you know, and th this is like being on this. Have you watched Snowpiercer? It's like a giant train, you know? Yeah. And that engine, which is the Intel and the AMD, the CPUs in the PC industry, when that steps up and becomes a new engine, faster engine, better engine, then all the other cars look a little sadder behind it. <laughs> yes. And then they have to upgrade. Yeah. And then once the car upgrades, then you start worrying about the furnishings inside. The components <laughs> right. have to upgrade. So yeah. right now we're in the middle of a of a of a serious upgrade time for PCs compared to the low we've been in, and we're doing our part as a storage manufacturer, at HP, to 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 give people a way to improve the cars that affect the speed of the train the most after the CPU. I so. love the analogy. It, it actually works. And yeah. uh, in our remaining couple of seconds, uh, Bywin yeah. has some big corporate news to share. Yes, yes. So Bywin is one of those Chinese companies that you probably haven't heard of, but we're significant enough that we've been listed now on the Shanghai Stock Exchange. We had an IPO. Well, congrats. It, it was right at December 30th, so most people don't know about it. Mm. But it gives us financial background you know that we need to expand globally using you know our manufacturers that we work with like HP on the consumer side sure but also we're very famous for the the uh, components inside the consumer electronics products here at CES awesome. so we're we're in VR headsets we're in you know Fitbits we're in everything Good. Yeah, all along the way. That's a good position to be in. Yes. <laughs> to be in everything. Yes. And, of course, more info can be obtained at the website hp-bywintech, B-I-W-I-N tech.com. And we'll get you there, too, so you'll see what Bob and his team are up to on a regular basis. But congrats especially on uh, the new IPO and good things happening with these folks and they're certainly not giving up on making sure we have the right amount of storage. Thanks again for joining us, Bob. My pleasure, Dave. Always good to be here. Yes, glad to have you. Bob Snyder with BuyWin, hp-buywintech.com. Again, we'll get you there. Just visit us at intotomorrow.com, and you'll see all of our interviews from showstoppers here in Las Vegas and everything else we're doing over these next several weeks on the broadcast. I am Dave Graveline. Into Tomorrow continues. You don't want to miss a minute of it. And make sure you check out all the videos at intotomorrow.com.